Hello and welcome to Guide London's last instalment in the A to Z of London attractions, a look at some of the sites that begin with the letter Z. I am Blue Badge Driver Guide William Harry Mitchell. Come join me for the next few minutes. Z is for ZSL London Zoo. London Zoo is located in the north of Regent's Park, the focus of the huge development of this part of town that was partially masterminded by King George IV back when he was the Prince Regent. The Grand Park contains wonderful water features, a stunning rose garden and an open-air theatre. However, the crowning glory of Regent's Park is the zoo itself. Opening in 1828, it is the world's oldest scientific zoo. In the 1830s, the animals from the Royal Menagerie were transferred here from the Tower of London to join the other animals as part of the zoo. The menagerie is still celebrated at the Tower in the form of wire sculptures throughout that site. Highlights at the zoo today include the charming Penguin Beach and the Reptile House where a young Harry Potter first realised he could talk to snakes. And who could forget the heartbreaking moment at the end of With Nail and I, where the film's title character recites the soliloquy from Hamlet, alone in the rain, to a prowling wolf on the other side of the bars. Z is also for the Grant Museum of Zoology. Opened in 1828, the same year as London Zoo, it was established as a teaching collection for the University College London. Among the highlights of its collection is the skeleton of a quagga, a now extinct subspecies of zebra that had a stripy head, white belly and legs, and a brown bottom. Z is for the ziggurat building. <laughs> and you thought we were only going to be able to come up with zoo-related sites. Located in the cool Clerkenwell area of the city, this Art Deco masterpiece is now an apartment block, was originally built in the 1930s, and until the 1980s served as the print works for many of the city's newspapers. Z is also for Ziggy Stardust, the musical alter ego used for a time by the late David Bowie. Bowie was born in Brixton, a now vibrant neighbourhood in the south of the city. There is a mural near to the exit of the tube station in Brixton, designed by the superstar street artist Jimmy C. When Bowie passed away in 2016, this mural became a focus for our outpouring of grief. Rest in peace, Starman. Z is for Zara Hadid. Another genius no longer with us is the great architect Zara Hadid, who is famous for the use of flowing organic shapes in her work. She designed, among other things, the Aquatic Centre for the London 2012 Olympics. Still in use today, this grand building now serves as a centre for the local community and for guests to swim in for fun or competition. All of the new arenas for the 2012 Olympics were built with sustainability and reuse in mind, and with many taken apart and reused elsewhere, this is one of the few still here in the Olympic Park still being used for its original purpose. I've been William Harry Mitchell. Check out my profile on Guide London. And those were just some of the London landmarks. Well, OK, those were actually probably all of the London landmarks that begin with the letter Z. Over the last 26 weeks, using the letters of the alphabet, we have shown you many of the most popular sites and locations in and around London. Did you have a particular favourite? Do let us know in the comments. We hope that the A to Z of London has inspired you to visit this amazing city. And when you do visit, make sure you check out Guide London website and choose one of our 600 blue badge tourist guides to give you a London experience to remember. Thank you for your support and do make sure to tell all your friends about the A to Z of London. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.